Over here, the Terminator. Equip. Oh. Oh, okay. he tried. Like <laughs> he tried to fire the airsoft gun, and the gun just ended up flying. What's up guys, the Tech Spy here, and this video I'm gonna be showing you guys something really really cool, a Robo Vacuum, okay? Yes, in this video I'm going to be reviewing a vacuum, I like to switch up the content here and there, okay? And I got the opportunity, so I'm like, why not review a Robo Vacuum, okay? I've always wanted to see if these build up to the hype, so... And stay tuned because I do have two of these, so I will be doing something interesting, and that is going to be a robot fight, okay? We're going to be doing a robot vacuum fight in this video, okay? We're going to have balloons, we got needles, it's going to be fun, okay? Which other robot vacuum review has done this before, alright? So with that said, behold, robo vacuum, that's the bottom. And yeah, it's got suspension too, so I'm excited. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So on the front, it says Baguette Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. Works with Wi-Fi and voice control. Low 2.7 inch profile design. Super strong 2200 PA suction power. Upgraded three point cleaning system. So this is the BG800 that we're taking a look at over here today. On the sides of the box, we just had the Baguette branding. And over here on the back, we could see that it does work on various different surfaces for cleaning. Now, included inside the box, we have the boundary strips, the owner's manual and other documents, four side brushes, which you only use one at a time, an additional high performance filter and foam filter, a cleaning tool, the charging base, and of course, the remote. And it comes included with two AAA batteries. Now, taking a look at the remote on the top over here, we have the display. And over here, we have an auto button to set up automatic cleaning. So it'll detect your room and automatically clean the entire room, which is nice. And over here, you'll also have a home button so if you wanted to go into the charging base automatically click on the home button and it will return the charging base and start charging now you do have these arrow keys so you can go in and control them manually which is what i'll be using for the balloon fight on the vacuum so that's gonna be super super fun i can't wait and you can also go to play and pause the auto cleaning using that middle button now on the bottom of the remote you have the time setup the schedule setup the spot cleaning edge cleaning you can adjust the suction power level using that button and it can also reset the wi-fi using that button now if you don't like the remote don't worry they also have an app now setting up the baguette app is super easy all you do is bring up your camera scan the qr code inside the user manual it'll bring you to the app store go to download the baguette app and now you can go ahead and open it up, select your cleaner, and just like that, you can go ahead and see the battery life of the baguette vacuum cleaner and also control it using your iPhone from anywhere. It has all the control of the spot cleaning and everything over here. And all right, now before we start with the balloon wars, let's go to review this vacuum for what it actually is meant to do clean so this vacuum has sensors over the side and that's also where it collects all the debris from the floor so again you can use the auto cleaning or control it manually using the arrow keys on the remote or inside the app now from my experience it does pick up stuff so that is great to know because sometimes we do have those vacuums that you just keep on going over to or like dust or something like cereal and just won't pick it up which can get pretty annoying this actually does pick up stuff okay so that is nice to know so it will actually go and clean your room now if you put an auto mode it might not take the exact path that you would like it to and it might take a little bit longer than a traditional vacuum to actually clean an entire room but let's say you're out at the store you're on vacation somewhere you're not even near your house why would you want to be on vacation corona is out there just kidding okay but i shouldn't be joking about that but anyways again you can control this using the app too and have scheduled cleaning as well so by the time you're home your house will be magically somehow clean with this vacuum now if you are a fan just having things done right away then this is not for you but if you like to leave the house a lot and if you're not home most of the time then this is a great little vacuum all you do is just set it up in auto leave your house come home back from work 
and you'll have a clean room. You'll be back with like fresh carpets and wood floors, okay? You won't have any of that mess over there with this vacuum. Now, yes, sometimes it does get stuck like underneath a sofa. So that can be kind of annoying at times, but it does also find its way over things like rugs. So sometimes it does struggle a bit, but it does have suspension. So it kind of lifts itself up and goes onto the rug from the wood floor and from the carpet to the rug, which is nice. And it is also able to detect underneath chairs and clean underneath there as well if there is enough room. And all right, with that said, let the annual baguette vacuum cleaner balloon wars begin. Now, I think I'm supposed to say this, so... Viewer discussion is advised. Kids, do not try this at home. Now, our first competitor is over here, the Terminator. Equipped with nine sticks, all of which have pencils that are sharpened or tacks. Terminator is also equipped with two airsoft guns, which will have a string attached to pull so that they could be shot at the opponent's balloon. On the opposing side, we have the Assassin. We have this mysterious mask, six sticks which are equipped with pins to pop balloons, and also three knives, one of which is a smaller Batman pocket knife. We also got two cardboard flags, one saying KO and one with a pirate bone skull thing. These will also serve to help protect the balloons behind it so that they cannot be shot at with the airsoft guns of the Terminator. Who will win? Comment down below. Alright, so the battle begins between the Assassin and the Terminator. They're both starting at opposing edges. Who do you think is going to win? Hello. I believe the Terminator is going to win because it has the range. The range in the airsoft or the sticks? Kind of both. But uh, we see them both approaching each other. They both look a little bit hesitant as they're moving side to side. Looks like we have some connection issues too. I don't know why he's turned to the side exposing his balloons. Oh my god, he took out a balloon! The Terminator has one balloon down on the Assassin. That happens very quickly, and there goes another balloon! It was an easy shot for the Terminator. The range is really looking to be key for this, as well as the Assassin not being able to use his controller properly. Oh! Oh, he tried, like... he tried to fire the airsoft gun, and the gun just ended up flying. It flew out of the base of the the uh, the Terminator. Oh, it looks like the Terminator. This ass is trying to run away, but it looks like he's turning around. Oh, oh he's trying to take out his weapons. Oh, looks like they're having a little feud right there. He's stuck inside the range of the Terminator. Now the assassin has the shields, so I think he'll be able to keep on to the balloon a little bit longer. Yes, the shields are proving to be very vital with keeping that little balloon alive. Otherwise, the turn. Oh, okay, no, they're exposed. They're exposed. The balloon. Okay, nope. All right. Oh, he shot his bullet, but he missed. He shot the cardboard shield, so the assassin is still alive, but still with only one balloon. He's still in survival mode. The pencil almost popped the assassin's balloon right there. It got kind of close. But yes. he was going to be able to see another day. Yes, I wonder how long this last balloon will last. <laughs> kind of a play on words right there. But it looks like the assassin is trying to come around from the right side to pop one balloon. He's trying to make a maneuver. He can't really do much being tangled up in the Terminator sticks. Oh, he turns around exposing his balloon and there's uh, a down. And it looks like the Terminator has won. Alright, so here we are with round two. We only had four balloons left, so it looks like each comp opponent has only two balloons on the back instead of three this time. So let's see what happens. Let's see if the assassin will take a different approach. What do you think? I mean, the robots are still kind of damaged from the last battle, but I think it's going to be around the same result. Yeah, it looks like the Terminator doesn't have his pistol anymore. He only has one of the assault rifles for the shots, so... He's oh, okay, okay, looks like he popped it pretty quick again. <laughs> it's not proven to be a very good fight. Let's see if the assassin could actually get a balloon down. Over there, he actually used the assault rifle to shoot the bullet at the balloon. It did, did it work though? It did work. That's why the balloon popped. Oh, that was the assault rifle. I thought he popped it with the knife. No. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I mean, one of the sticks. All right. So it looks like the Terminator's backing up. Why is it scared of the assassin when 
Okay, it might be a controller issue. But uh, it's gonna wait to see what happens. The assassin's kind of mocking him right now, being uh, the only one that's able to move properly. Seems like. He's having connection problems. Oh there. shoot, he's oh. turning around. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe control is mag functioning too. The oh. both seem to be a little confused. Yep. Looks like the assassin is tangled in the Terminator sticks once again. They seem to be stuck in this position a quite lot of the, the time. Oh yes. I wonder if the Terminator has another bullet left in that uh, magazine or was that the only one? I believe those guns are only able to fire one time. Alright, so he took out one balloon, which was uh, at pretty close range. And let's see what happens over here. Clear tangled. The assassin looks to be trying to break the Terminator sticks. No, oh, one stick has fallen off. There are no spiky tacks. In the ground, yeah. so if you run over that, then they gonna have a problem. <laughs> oh yes, you don't want these tires to be deflated. <laughs> Otherwise, you cannot move. Therefore, you can't turn. Therefore, your balloons get popped a lot easier. They're still tangling. The assassin is trying to do something. Oh no, he's turning around. That's not a good idea. Wait, you control the mine. I was like, why is it spinning that way? The Terminator is still a pretty whack. Tank. Uh, the assassin is having trouble being able to get around the Terminator. The Terminator is absolutely destroying the assassin. Yes, but the Terminator is uh, not looking very proper. It sticks are far enough, and I'm sure the assassin will make a turnaround. Although some of the sticks are falling off, it still has the tax and the long range. Oh my God. The long range, the airsoft bullets are done. They're done, mate. And not to mention, the oh. lead off the pencils has now diminished. They have fallen off the pencils. Yes, looks like the Terminator has zero chance. I still believe the Terminator will destroy because of the range. The assassin with this one balloon will overtake. <laughs> the assassin trying to make something happen. The assassin will make everything happen. He will pop both the balloons. As the Terminator, the Terminator is backing up, trying to find a way to get around the assassin. Oh, it looks like the assassin has a chance. Oh no, he turns around. All right, they're still uh, they're still tangling. Oh, He's trying I to use a horsepower. Right right <laughs> Little does he know that the assassin has a twin turbo V8. Oh, it may have a twin turbo V8, oh, but the oh, new. So through, oh, shit, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> that was a Terminator. Oh yeah. The Terminator has a twin turbo V12. Packing underneath that hood. That means he will be running out of gas quite soon. He's equipped with a bigger tank. What would that bigger tank be? It's the same size. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! The assassin should move forward, but instead he moves to the right. He's teasing him with his big red balloons. He really wants his balloons. He really wants him to turn around so he can touch his balloons. Oh. Dude, <laughs> oh, you broke off my lead. Oh god. Um, Looks like there's something energy. broke. <laughs> Seems to be the lead from yeah, the pencils, yeah, which are like the, not. Oh, no, the Terminator's not wearing the Yeezys. Huh? <laughs> Instead, he's wearing the Grandpa Nike running shoes. <laughs> Those seem to be proper fit, because you don't want to ruin your Yeezys. With Looks the like guns. he knew this would be a long battle, thus he wearing oh. those. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it looks like we are done over here for again the second march. Dude, I destroyed you. Oh, the assassin did not seem to have a oh chance as it did not get a single balloon in both rounds. Oh looks like he poked him in oh the balloons God. with a stick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the baguette vacuum cleaner. Please be sure to leave a like, that does help me out a lot. This is the text bot, and peace out.